Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick little video on uh, kind of an entry quest to Ethemir, uh Tainted West Karana. Pretty easy to get there from plain of knowledge. Just go over to the uh, Kino Stone here. Come on in. I'm going to kill these guys as I go by. All right. And we're going to zone in to uh, Kino Sills. Gonna head for the Karanas. It's a fairly short trip. You just have to go through two or three zones to get there. And again, I am doing this with my level 92 magician. I'm going to go ahead and pop up my uh, healer right now, just so I don't forget. Okay, we're going to zone on in. And what's nice about getting to this zone is uh, once you zone in here to West Corona, it's just right around the corner here. There are multiple ways of getting to this zone. Uh, I'm not going to go through them all. This is the one I've always taken just because it's just less of a hassle than other stuff. Okay, do a buff, do a buff. And you see these guys here, uh, praying to fire or whatever. It says a cloaked figure. They're dubious. Uh, I've never tried to attack them. Uh, even when they were red to me, now they're gray. I'm still not going to bother doing it. Anyway, just click on the fire here. And we've entered the either near. All right. And uh, you can see the way to zone back out of here is through this direction. And you come over here to the camp. And there's some guards here. Uh... I have not done this with uh, an evil race like a troll or Ixar or anything, so I don't know what the guards would con to you. Um, but for most of the other races, they're indifferent. But they're all red. All right, going to come over here to, to Guska. Give me my hail. And he says, oh my God, it's another green recruit. Listen up, it's pandemonium out here. We need strong soldiers. My task will separate the wheat from the chaff. Are you up for the challenge, rookie? And I click on it. He says, there are plenty of en enemies out there, scrub. Pick your doom. And it gives a whole bunch of them that you could click on. I'm just going to do get feral for right now. And accept it. And let's clear up the screen a little bit here. And it says, kill some feral beasts such as bears, lions, and wolves. 
So you don't have to go far. You can stay fairly near this camp. And uh, here's some wolves right over here. Now you have to keep in mind that other stuff may occasionally path by here. So don't get complacent while you're killing something. Uh, you got to keep an eye on your six. There's a lion right up here. I'm going to go ahead and pull. Uh, everything is calling red here. But it says this creature looks relatively weak. So let's see just how weak they are. Okay, I casted Melis and then it didn't work. So let me try again here. That's twice. Three times. See, they're red, so it didn't want to stick. There we go. Four times the charge. Alright, now I can help out. There's a rumor wolf right there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and burn this one down a little bit. It looks like... Oh, there's... That Froon or Brune or Shoon. That's Shoon. Okay. One of these days I'll take, take him out and see what he's got on him. Well, you can see based on that amount of time what it took to get him to 50%. So these are killable. So far, most of my spells are are not only hitting, they're hitting for most of the uh, hit points and a couple of crits. So, for... It looks like... It looks like although they're red, uh, they're not that hard to kill. I'll let you know when I attack some of these wolves and maybe if I see a bear or something. We'll see what happens. So... That was not much. But my A bar did move a little bit with that kill. Okay, I'll get back with you when it's, uh, when I kill the tenth one. Well, this is the last kill I need for this quest. Uh, <clears throat> I've killed eight wolves and one lioness. Uh, just a little bit of information on uh, on these guys. They're conning red. I'm a level 92 mage. Uh, let me give you a little perspective here. Um, they're conning red, but they're only about as strong as... The light blues and some of the blues, uh, in other, uh, comparable zones, such as House of Thule. And, uh, Burning Aridin, you know, some, some of these type of, uh, uh, zones. The only difference I'm seeing is that because of them conning red is that they are much more resistant to spells. Uh, but otherwise, hit point wise, armor class wise, I'm not seeing any difference. 
in fact, they may even be a little bit lesser than some of the stuff that I've come up against. I've been taking them on one by one, and my uh, mercenary healer has never gone below 85% in mana. Uh, so, pretty, actually, easy kill, except for landing spells. Now, I've been casting uh, Malicin Malicinet Malicinetta. <laughs> And that is a level 91 spell. And it's been landing, but never never 100%. I, there's been occasions where I've had, even had to cast it three times. So, anyway, we're almost done with this one. Uh, this has taken about 35 minutes to kill these 10. So, not a slow quest, but not a fast one either. Nah, I'm going to go back to first person. Alright, let's go ahead and burn him down here since we're so close to it. There we go. Task stage completed. Talk to Tunguska. Oh, and by the way, uh, when I pulled that wolf over here, uh, that was, uh, Rune, a rare creature. Scales, are you ready to attack? So, I, I didn't want to try him yet. Uh, that may be for another video. Anyway, let's go over to Tunguska and see what he gets us. Alright. The task get feral is completed. Ah, uh, let's see. You've helped Tunguska make the area safer by eliminating some aggressive wildlife. You received 75 platinum and some experience. So that was pretty decent uh, AA experience there. Let's see, that was 8% or so at level 92, so not too bad. All right. Well, that's it for this one. Uh, short and sweet uh thanks for watching guys and uh uh you know if if you're learning something or i'm helping you out <clears throat> please like and subscribe i need the subscribers and uh I'll catch you next time